and welcome to the tutorial on Power Armor, learning how to use it efficiently uh, and how to install all the appropriate upgrades you need and learning all the bits and bobs about them. This is for anyone of you lovely, handsome, serendipity players, you know, you just, oh yes, you, you, you lovely person, you. Uh, but if you don't want to go on, go on serendipity, I suggest you join now. <laughs> Yeah, that will be at ftb dot serendipity. Oops, serendipity mc dot com. That is on the ultimate server, uh, the lovely ultimate server for Feed the Beast, and you can visit the website to learn more on www dot serendipity mc dot com. There you are, those two lovely links. Now, uh, to the tutorial. Now, <clears throat> right now all these items look gobbledygook, but in a few minutes time you'll learn all the things you need to know about them. Now, first of all, these are your primary EU storages. So you have your LV capacitor, which stores the least amount, your MV, which is efficiently. I would, I would suggest these, rather than... The HVs, the HV capacitor. I would suggest for your power tool, but that is about it. But obviously, if you want to get more power, then go for put it on your power armor. But let's start off first. Now, basically, these store all of your electricity, and these are your uh, these are your armors as well. These uh, are what you use to protect yourself with armor, and these are all your other bits and bobs that you need to create items on there. Now, first of all. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of. Uh, let's get rid of this. Actually, there we go. Now, <clears throat> what you actually need to know is, uh, first of all, you need a lot of wiring. Your wiring is your main, is one of the main resources of making uh, all the things that you need with the power armor. Same for solenoids. You need a lot of them. Now, wiring, of course, is uh, obviously. Oops. Let's uh, change that. Not equip armor off. <laughs> now, uh, wiring is obviously made with a gold nugget and a bit of redstone. However, uh, if this is uh, disabled and uh, you need to use the other recipe, then it is silver ingots with a bit of uninsulated copper cable. Now, Obviously, you can get all the recipes from the Wikipedia, from the Feed the Beast wiki, or using the Too Many Items mod, which is this. Very useful mod. Uh, now, you need to make sure that you do have server motors. You don't need stacks. I just got these because uh, it was just the easiest way of doing it around things. Now, you will need server motors. I, I mean, uh, server motors are quite a bit of a hassle, but my favorite my recipe which I use for these are the solenoid in the middle with two pulsating chipsets on each side or two electronic circuits with steel on the corners with a bit of brass that's for the harder recipe the easy recipe is obviously right there two solenoids an iron ingot and some wiring I will obviously go, I will also for all viewers will go into a tutorial afterwards uh, for learning more about the assembly table and how to use that because uh, you will need an assembly table in order to actually make these items. Now, <clears throat> uh, I'm actually quite hungry. Hmm. You know what? For a good friend of mine called Dos Minidoc, uh, he's, a, he's an amazing character and I'm sure that he would love what I have just, what I'm doing right now, just eating a bit of cake. He would love this. Let's uh, let's get that there for him. So we've got a lot of cake involved there. I think uh, I I'm going to dedicate this cake, these cakes, in the name of Dos Mini Doc. He will love that. Now, by the way, for those of you that don't know, I made a lot of scrap boxes and I got a lot of cake from them. And Dos got no cake whatsoever from scrap boxes. That's why he gets mad about the cake thing. So. Uh, just to let you all know. Now, power tool. All these are the upgrades that you can get for the power armor. Look complicated for people that never know about it that are new to this mod, but I'll guide you through it nice and well. Now, first of all, 
on the power tools, on the power armors, you have the cosmetic side of things. Now, on here, you can install them with a hologram emitter. And basically, all this allows you to do is change the colour of your power tool. So, say I wanted some, I wanted a nice lovely green to match my skin. I've got a nice little green power tool now. But obviously, it's kind of useless. Like, it doesn't do anything. It just takes forever to mine. So, let's change that. Let's start by putting on a lovely shovel upgrade. Now, this costs three iron ingots and a solenoid. And let's put on as well a... Oh! Okay, encountered a problem there. I don't have any iron. <laughs> let's uh, change that a second. Let's get some lovely iron. I'm also going to need some wool. Which I'll uh, soon tell you why. Now, let's get rid of that. Now, let's get this uh, lovely shovel upgrade on. Lovely shovel upgrade. Overclock. Now, as you will notice on your items after you add them, these are the these are the main things: axe, pickaxe, and shovel. Now, the, f the thing is with the, uh, these items, people tend to not notice it, but you do have an overclock here. My advice would be to, you know, if you don't have a lot of power, just make sure it doesn't use a lot, so put it up to a certain amount of like half the value of the overclock. But obviously. If you've got, you're going to get a lot of power and you will charge up your power at all, then obviously use it at this, but it will use one kilojoule every consumption. However, if you use, as I will mention later on, you can gather power whilst moving around in your power suit. Now, put all, I'll, put, I'll just put all of these to a lovely um, amount of it. I'll, I'll just put these up. Now, the only, th the only thing that... Uh, is actually a problem, it's just the amount of energy that it uses, but that's not too much bother really right now. Now, this is a nice piece of equipment. This is a multimeter, a tool add-on that reads the universal electricity power generation in a wire. So it will read electricity. Unfortunately, I think there is a bit of a bug with this at the current time. Um, I think there is a bit of a bug with it, so... Uh, that's, so you should you don't really you shouldn't really matter about that for now. But some things are good. Now your weapons on your power tool I will get around to later on. For now, this is your drills. So if you install a battery, this is the basic battery, the LV, you will get a little symbol at the top left corner, twenty kilograms. Now the only problem is with batteries and a power armor and armor and things, is you need to balance out your power and your armor. And this is for when you get to the power armors over here, for like when you start getting plating, because batteries and armor have an amount of size. As you can see, you have your weight here at two, kilo two kilograms, and your maximum energy at 20 kilojoules. Now, if I increase that to full, that would be 10 kilograms for 100 kilojoules, and I would be moving around much more slower, jumping slower, and it can be quite a problem moving around it really really slow but however uh, there is a there is a you can change that with the power armor legs you can get a sprint assist and a movement speed and oops <laughs> I appear to have uh, I appear to have been attacked where with you there we go I seem to have accidentally uh, destroyed the power armor Tailed in the process. <laughs> now, uh, back to where I was. Uh, the specials that you can get with this, you would need a control circuit and a crafting table for this. You can get a crafting table in your uh, power tool too, as well. Obviously, I don't have a crafting table, but I can just easily change that. Let's get a, let's get a lovely bit of wood with our new power tool. There is a lovely creeper over there as well. Which I'm not too excited about. Don't really like creepers. Never have. <laughs> there we go. Die, you little bugger. Right. Get a bit of wood. That'll do. Oop. As you can see, the. Uh, oops. No. As you can see, the power tool now mines a lot faster, but the sand doesn't mine as quick. But dirt does mine pretty quick. 
Oh, but uh, obviously I've run out of energy with this, so let's get a lovely solar panel to uh, help speed the process up. Let's uh, plonk this in here. Right, charge that up quickly. There we go. Now, obviously, everything mines much more quicker, but energy goes down a massive amount of law. So, I will show you in a bit how to uh, sort this out. But for now, let's get onto the other upgrades of the power tool. Now, you can get a lovely diamond drill upgrade as well, which costs three diamonds and a solenoid, which obviously makes it the same as the um, same as the diamond drill. And basically, I now have to spawn in some lovely diamonds. I came prepared, but I didn't come prepared enough. <laughs> Let's get some lovely diamonds. Um, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Now, I now have the diamond pickaxe upgrade and also the aqua affinity. Aqua affinity reduces the speed penalty for using your tool underwater. This also requires energy as well, just up to about 100 jewels. Uh, now, with this, uh, now I should be able to mine a lot more faster, a lot more faster, a lot more efficiently and also dirt will just mine instantaneously. Same for cobble. And basically it is like a diamond drill and it also has the overclock bonus so it is just a bit faster than a diamond drill unless you have uh, put on some enchantments on diamond drills which you can now do on Feed the Beast. Now another lovely special of this is the blink drive. Now the blink drive is an amazing tool this uh this this uh this bad boy this lovely thing here when I go to it. Uh now this is obviously your multi readout thing and uh I forgot to install the crafting table to show you all which I'm going to do now. Install the crafting table there we go. Now, in order to actually scroll between your tools, so in order to actually get to your crafting table, your blink drive, and your plasma cannon when I get around to that, you hold shift and scroll along. So that's the uh, that's the readout energy of what it said on the wires. Uh, this is the lovely crafting table. Quite useful. You don't have to carry around a crafting table with you, you don't have to place one. Just open your power tool. Taro Pataro, Bob's your uncle. Now, a lovely favourite of mine is this blink drive. This blink drive, you can just teleport anywhere. Shoot it, teleport. Shoot it again. Teleport. Oops, that's not good. Don't want to go into the ocean. Thankfully, it cancels out if it hits water. Now, I'll teleport back over to here. Now, unfortunately, things like this, these cost a lot, a lot of items. They cost one iron thruster and two force field emitters. Now, uh, if I go onto here, it does require a lot of ingredients. Now, it may seem simple enough, it's like, mm, just four ender pills and some solenoids. However, on some servers, this is banned. The easy recipes are not allowed, and in my opinion, it's quite fair. It makes it much more challenging and much more of a better effects to try and get higher in power, get your matafab, get iridium, etc, etc. So for this you would need your HV capacitor, two force field emitters, a superconductor, iridium neutron reflector and iridium plating just for one iron thruster. And that uh, will grant you your lovely blink drive along with two force field emitters. Now, Let's uh, let's install a bigger battery onto this. Get rid of that. I will warn you right now that when you cannot salvage parts from a power tool, I do not know why. I think it's just a bug with the game. But when you salvage it, if you look at the bottom, it says 63 on my inventory. If I went to salvage this elite battery, I still have 63. You cannot salvage things from a power tool, so please be careful with that. Now, let's, let's put
hook this up to full. Now 5 million energy. Let's plop it in here. Lovely, 5 million. Right, now, thing with the power tool is it comes with a beautiful melee assist which is not too expensive, two server melters and an LV capacitor. Put your impact and your carry through, which your impact is obviously the the, uh, the put the uh, melee damage, and your carry through is the melee not back. And now, there is one thing with the power plasma cannon. The most to me is amazing. It's just amazing. Now. Obviously, you have 500 meters worth creeper damage on the plasma explosive. You're on the on. It's expensive to make, but it's worth it. The amperage. That's the uh, amount of damage it does at full charge. So, at full charge, it does 20 points worth of damage. So you've got 20 points here. So that will do 20 points at full charge when you unleash the plasma cannon. It will kill a mob instantaneously. Well, just random mobs. A boss, it will probably take quite a few hits, quite a lot of hits on some bosses in the twilight area. But we won't get into that just now. Now, the voltage is the amount of damage it does. So, if I had the voltage on nothing and I got to this lovely weapon, got to the power, got to this, it would have no effect to the environment. It will just blow up and just just basically harm mobs and people around it. However, if you put the voltage up to full, this is where it gets lovely and exciting. <laughs> you will annihilate the environment. You will just you, it's just like a little portable handheld TNT. You just get to blow things up, blow the environment up, just quickly launch it. Just blow things up, basically, <laughs> and it's uh, it's just so fun to use, especially on a especially multiplayer. It's just so fun to just blow up things, blow up people in a in the wilderness. Just blow, up, just start making some holes and uh, terra potaro. That is basically all you need to know about the power tool, and remember, t remember, the energy usage is quite high with it, so. Now, I think I should move on to the power armor legs, I think. Now let's install a lovely MV capacitor to this. As I said before, the weight of everything is quite high, so you don't really need a lot of weight. So I'm going to put 3 kilograms of weight and 1.38 million joules worth of energy on here, so the power tool. Now, with the power armor feet, if you're just starting, obviously you will want protection, so iron plating or diamond plating is the way to go. Obviously diamond plating does take diamonds and it does uh, require a bit of mining, but if not, you've got iron. So I'm going to install iron. Now, the plating thickness obviously is at two points is 4.5 kilograms, but with diamond plating, when it's uh, at two points, it's just the same amount as two kilograms. So the diamond plane is a lot less weighty. So diamond plane is more efficient, but it does make you move a lot slow when you keep on increasing it. And if I was to start putting on my power armor now, start attaching it, uh, you'll notice I'm moving more and more slower. And let's say if I put on iron plating on my on the whole of me, so I put two kilograms worth. Uh, Oops, that's iron. If I put two kilograms worth of plating on each time, let's put yeah, just about two kilograms. Let's do that. There we go. I now have just six armor pieces, but I am moving massively slow, so I can't spring normally and faster as I used to. I feel so slow. So. What is a good thing to have with this is on the legs you have an amazing sprint assist, which obviously requires a lot of energy, but just whack it up to full. It's just it's brilliant. 
and then you then you will just you will just fly throughout the whole map. You will just be amazingly brilliant. It's 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 it's, brill it's a brilliant tool to have. You can just sprint. You can just uh, it's you just sprint so fast. It's brilliant. You got lovely walking assist and everything. Now, the only thing is, I haven't actually installed the advanced batteries according to, to the rest of my suit, so I should plonk them on. You're gonna need about 200 jewels each, I would say, on your armor. Now, this is for the medium volt. This I'm using this on the advanced battery due to the fact that this is probably the only one most people have. A lot of advanced people will get the elite battery, but for now, let's just focus on this one. Now, obviously, you move more slow, but you're still moving quite fast, of, of course, with the sprint assist. But it will be a problem when you get more and more blocks and things. So let's put on a jump assist now. Let's get now. This will enable you to jump higher. It will enable to. It will. It will let you jump higher and further. This is the lovely swim boost, but of course this requires an iron thruster. But it's quite good to have. Again, you will be able to thrust through water. It, it's just. It's just brilliant. It's uh, you move faster and more, and this is the uphill assist, which doesn't require a lot of uh, upgrades. This just enables you to basically hop up one on hills, etc., etc. And then, as I said, for the water, you can just move through water extremely well. But uh, it appears to be a bit dark down here, so let me just quickly uh, change this up to the thing. Let's get back over to here. Now, this is the jumping effect on me. Obviously, I'm jumping quite far, it's quite good, but I am dying so from height distance, so we can change that by adding on the shock absorbers, which is why I needed the wool. Shock absorbers will grab any power that you need, uh, will absorb any from any height, when put up to full, when put up to maximum shock absorb on the power, you will be able to just jump about and just receive no damage when landing. And that's about it. I'm looking uh, quite cool <laughs> with my power on. Now, another thing with the armor. Another thing with the armor is with. Uh, Obviously, you're going to need a lot of power, and I'm losing a lot of energy. So what you're going to want is you're going to want a lovely kinetic generator on your legs, one that to full, and that, and also on your helmet. When I get around to it, I will show you about it. But you want obviously a solar generator as well, so it generates energy from when you're standing. And as you notice at the top left of my screen you will notice that the energy is going up every time I'm moving about. So if I jump and start running about and start just having a laugh with something, just run about, I'm getting I'm getting energy every time I move. So if you're exploring constantly on the move, all you're going to do is just gather energy and you'll have unlimited energy. This is mildly mildly effective. So you don't have to continuously charge it up in solar panels. Another thing is with the with these armors, you have uh, cosmetics. You can go for a Citizen Joe style, which is this Citizen Joe style in the cosmetic of the suit. Now this adds a unique style to it. You've got all these cool new black lines. It looks really te it, lo it looks nice. It looks cool. Adds a bit more detail to your armor. And also, what you can do is you can either 
as I mentioned earlier, you can add colour to it, so you can add a bit of red, you can add some blue, you can mix it together, make some purple or pink, etc, etc. Or, if you wanted, you can actually make your armour transparent. So now, I have no pants. <laughs> but, it's just uh, invisible. It's still there in my inventory. Which is uh, pretty goddamn cool. Now, one thing for your armor is you can have, when you get around to making force field emitters, you can have a energy shield. Now, energy shields, you can just wham up to full. It, it does require energy, but it doesn't mean you don't need these anymore. You can just have your energy shield on. And with a decent battery, you can then increase the battery size. You can start, um, wham you can have a lot a lot of armor now these are obviously very expensive but they are definitely worth it it will take you can still die it's not impossible to die but you will be protected for quite a bit and obviously if you keep the diamond plate on you can have, you have even more protection so let's get rid of all these we now have full full armor so just warm up the battery sizes a bit Obviously, you have your total weight up here in the right corner. You have all your details that you need any here, like energy storage, your weight in the top right corner, all the things that you need. Now, well, uh, a good thing for the armor, as, as I said with the cos cosmetics, let's move to the solar helmet. On the solar helmet, you've got a lovely thing called night vision, which enables you to, no matter how deep or how far you are, it will always be bright. So if I'm in a cave where there's no torches, and let's have a look at my key bindings quickly, and that's why. If I disabled my solar helmet now, night vision off, it is massively dark. Enable it, massively light. Night vision is one of the most, it's just, it's so useful to have night vision. It's, a, it's an amazing thing, it's so useful. Now, another good thing to have is, ooh, you better get some more cake. <laughs> Another good thing to have on the the next thing on the solar helmet is flight control, which I'll install now. But well, flight control basically, when uh, when using the jetpack and the jet boots combined, which I'll show you in a second, if you press Z, it's like shifting um, in game mode C in creative, where you can sh press shift go down basically, but this time it's Z to go down, so then you can still have your shift capabilities. Now, you can also install an aura meter, which requires the goggles of revealing and the hologram emitter onto your helmet. Then you, uh, which obviously I need to grab some goggles of revealing. There we go. I now have the aura meter attached to my helmet. I no longer need to wear goggles of revealing. Now, people who do not know this, this is included in Foundcraft, which I doubt I would do a tutorial very soon since I don't know much about it myself. Only my friend Dos Minidoc and probably some of the admins and people on the server know about that. Uh, but Foundcraft is amazing, magic and things like that. Now, with the Soul Helmet, you also have two environment things. You have an auto feeder which your armor then eats for you, which you can install, which is just, it's, it's very, very, it's, it's very, very useful. And the water electrolyzer. Now, the water electrolyzer, basically, all that does is, when you run out of air, it just continuously jolts an electric, an electric pulse or something around the suit, and then you get all your air back, so, as soon as that depletes, after three, two, one, there we go, it's depleted back. And with the auto feeder, uh, obviously running around in this suit, running around all the time, jumping about, you're going to get pretty hungry down quick. Let's quickly remove that. You're going to get hungry really quick. So, what the best thing to do is to have is with auto feeder. Say, for instance, I have a stack of cooked chicken. I accidentally typed a stack. 
Say I've got a stack of cooked chicken spawning, 64 chicken, it goes straight into the helmet. You don't even see it when food appears in your inventory. Instantly goes into your helmet. And now I will not go hungry for quite some time because I have 64 cooked chicken in my helmet, ready to eat for me. So I won't go hungry for a while. Now, obviously, if this is a problem, if you're farming and everything, you can turn off that, but I will get to key bindings like this later on in the game. Now, next thing I think uh, everyone wants to know about is now the lovely specialities of this. You can obviously have an active camouflage as well uh, for your chest plate, which enables you to go invisible. So, if I put that on, I am now invisible. But obviously, uh, my armour is not. So, if I wanted to sort that out, I can just go to my armour and make it transparent. So then, I am now invisible, so that to make my armour visible, I am now then invisible. So, <clears throat> sorry, as I was saying, uh, as I was saying before, uh, you can just have, so if, you, if I put the rest of my armor on, I would be fully invisible. So let's give that a bang, let's go install, install, there we go, I'm now invisible. No one can see me, no one can do anything. Sometimes when you're invisible though, uh, a puff of smoke enables around you, but that's not to worry. I am now invisible, no one can see me, or anything about that. Enable it again, turn it off, which uh, I'll show you how in a second, uh, so then you can be visible once more. Now, another thing with this is in the power armor torso is that, oh, by the way, active camouflage requires four hologram emitters, two false field, and two control circuits. Uh, with this, you can have something called a glider. Now, in order to enable the glider, you press shift when in the air. So if I'm in the air, press shift, I can glide across the map. Now, it's moving quite slow right now, but if I took off, say, half of the batteries, I would glide across quite quick. Also, if you take off, say for instance, some of your armor, uh, like that, I've taken off my boots and my helmet, I will move a lot more quicker and glide faster and further because I've narrowed the weight down as well. I forgot to mention that. So. If I had this power tool on, I would glide a lot less. So if I put on the whole suit, I am gliding massively slow right now because I have the power tool, all of my armor on. So only normally use power tool when fighting or like things like this when you're destroying blocks because if not, it narrows your speed and it narrows everything down. So weight is a big thing and big impact on how your environment is. Now. With the chest, you of, of also have uh, a parachute, but the parachute isn't really that big a deal, really, because you don't really need it. I mean, obviously, if you want to, you can have, but you can you can only have one or the other, which is a glider does press sneak and forward while falling to activate, and that's obviously just defaults to shift parachute. But parachute is not really needed, really. It's kind of it's kind of stupid to have in my opinion but if you want it go ahead now the jetpack the jetpack is amazing is quite good obviously it's a jetpack so you can go further in the air you can go hello welcome back sorry for the uh, technical difficulties as you see we're in a new location uh, uh, all I'm gonna say is blame aqua for it that's all I'm gonna say 
so anyway, let's get back to uh, the tutorial. As uh, like before, when I was uh, left off, we were on the jetpack. Now, for this, I'm going to demonstrate without the jet boots for this. So, <clears throat> with the jetpack, you can just instantly fly around. Uh, oops, I actually need to enable it. You can just fly around, Potato Potaro, but you have to keep holding space because if not, you're just going to go down to the floor instantaneously. Obviously, because it's a jetpack. Now, as well with the jetpack, you can just float around, you can do stuff. Yeah, and stuff. So, uh, with the jetpack, you can hover, obviously, like this, just stay around floating in the air, and then you hold Z to go down. Pretty useful for building, but not fully efficient enough as uh, with the jet boots installed. Put them up to full thrust. Let's uh, take out the jetpack. Now, with the jet boots, you can still hover around and fly about, but you start descending after a while and you just start descending to the floor. You can still walk about. And it takes a while. You need to, with the jet boots, wherever you're looking, you will go. So wherever you're looking, you'll you'll go. So it's kind of a bit awkward with uh, the jet boots. But with both of them combined at the same time, just put the thrust up to full. You have uh, then an amazing little flying gadget thing. You can go down with Z. Uh, you can fly about, you can hover, fly about, you can fly around this tree, you can do everything. You can just fly about, you can go flying for miles and miles, it's the most easiest way of getting around. However, the bad side of it is, when you install it onto the armor, it is constantly activated, so that's where key bindings are going to come into this. Now, obviously if you want to go into a cave or into your house, it's kind of hard since all you do is back up and things like that. So that's where Keybinders are coming to this because uh, obviously if you know as I said before you want to go into the house or your cave it's kind of hard to do so. So let's start introducing key bindings. let's just turn off the jetpack now. Uh, if you press K when you have power armor on If you press K when you have power armor on, this will come up. This is your key bindings. I'll just remove this from the trash and then uh, put these back. So first of all, you have your key bindings here. Normally you'll start off with a Y, but I've deleted it. You'll start off with a Y. Now, these are your keys on your keyboard. Now, the keys I would suggest to use are, key, are Y, U, I, O, and P. Because uh, these are all in line, they're all at the top of the keyboard, and nothing is combined to these keys unless you have your controls set differently. Now, I'm also going to attach L. <coughs> now, with these, for Y, uh, I would re I w I'm, I'm going to set my night vision. Now, to tell which one you have, you can use Shift to activate which ones you want <clears throat> to go on. You can sh hold shift to get the name of it, so like glider, activate it, with, put that on L. Night vision, I'm going to put that on Y because it's always good to uh, get a bearing of your surroundings. Like It's uh, easy to take off night vision without actually having to take off the helmet. I'm going to put U for the auto feeder because the auto feeder is very good. If you have auto feeder always activated, you're never going to be able to like farm or pick up food or transport it anyway because your armor will just instantly eat it up so it's a good idea to turn that off and then carry food around now another good thing is jetpack let's sling that on O sling jetpack and jet boots as well on O you can have multiple things on uh, different keys you want jetpack and uh, jet boots on O so then you can toggle it off fly about and then if you want to go to your house, you can toggle it back off and you'll just go back to the back to the floor, jump about with uh, your jump assist, etc, etc, and then you're fine. So, another thing you're going to want on, if you have this active camouflage, obviously you don't have, uh, when you activate it on, your arms disappear but your armor doesn't, and maybe, you know, sometimes you want to show off your armor as well. So, you can either 
going to key bindings, you could either have a totally new key to have uh, perhaps G, or oh, G's taken, uh, perhaps uh, K. K is taken as well. <laughs> um, let's go with J. And if you drag this, which is the transparent armor, you can activate transparent armor whenever you want. So you could go around with no armor on, and then if you activate I, you could go invisible. Or if you wanted to keep it up, you could keep J on, and uh, just uh, keep your armor on whenever you want, whenever you're not invisible and walking around to show off your armor. Or, if you wanted, like I do, I uh, have it so it's toggled for both, so when you go invisible, so does your armor, and you turn it back on, and you're both, in, both not invisible anymore. Now, another thing which I find is quite fun is attaching the color module onto J. Because uh, attaching this module on, you can, you can activate color on your armor whenever you want, which is pretty cool. Like, say for instance, if you want to just keep on with the white armor, and just uh, go around and just have a bit of fun, and then you toggle it, then you just randomly toggle J, or whatever other key you come, put custom color it to. You can just activate color whenever you want. It's pretty cool. So, that's pretty much all there is to it, really. Oh, we've still got to use P. We can plot that on there. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it, really. I mean, uh... Aside from uh, aside from the key bindings, which is fairly easy to use, just remember the fact that you press new, type in another key, and it will come up, and then trash to throw away that key if you're not using it. And remember as well, the armor, the power armor, the power armor bench will tell you what items you need when you click on it. It'll tell you the items at the bottom, and then you just search those items up in the too many items mod. <coughs> so if I was to search. Server motor. Have a look at that. Oop. <coughs> Cheap mode activated. If I were to and then activate that, recipe comes up. Blah da 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 da. Make it. Plop it. And then plop it in a. Plop it in your inventory. Make it and then you're fine. That's all there is to it. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial um, very interesting, very helpful, and also very effective. This is uh, Sergeant Major Wolf signing off in the night time, which I had no idea it was night due to uh, the amazingness of the night vision goggles. This is Sergeant Major Wolf signing off, and uh, remember, if any of you lovely serendipity players are watching, you uh, you handsome buggers, uh, I hope you found it very, very uh, lovely. Remember, if you'd like to join the server, it is feedthebeast.serendipity mc.com and then also if you'd like to join the TeamSpeak server <coughs> uh, at the current time it is serendipity mc dot teams oh no actually I don't think it, it, there's no mc sorry uh, dot teamspeak free dot com join those there on TeamSpeak and then you can chat to us and get any information you need on joining the server, etc, etc. And uh, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, if, if you're watching this. And I uh, also hope you enjoy a bit of cake. I know DOS Mini Doc will enjoy a bit of cake. So uh, this is Sergeant Major Wolf signing off. Bye! Cheerio!